Welcome to support videos for workload automation video series. How to use control M variables in your script. You can use variables in your jobs by appending them to the command line and passing them as arguments, or they're also available in the environment based off of the auto edits inline setting on the agent. We're now going to do a demo to show you how to use this functionality. Okay, in today's demo, we're going to take a look at how variables can be used within a job. Look at here, variable test one simply runs a set command. And you can see this is just being done with an embedded script. If you look down below, we've set a variable, which is local called my text, and it has a value of hello world. By looking at the output of this job, we can see the variables that were set. And if we scroll down here and look, we're going to see the my text hello world. And we're also going to see some things that are set by control them automatically, such as the job name, the job status. Um, there's a list of these variables which you can find in the parameter guide, which you can use inside of your script. In this case, we're using a Windows agent, which means the variables that we just saw can be used inside of our script. Now, if we look at our embedded script here, we're actually going to echo percent job name percent and percent my text percent. On Windows, this is the this is how you identify a variable using percent, the variable name percent. On Unix, this would just be a dollar sign variable name. So if we take a look at the output from this job, and here you see the job name, which is variable underscore test two, and you see the variable we define, the my test, which is hello world. This is actually a functionality of the agent that's controlled by the auto edit inline parameter. If we run CTM AG CFG and go to the advanced settings, we'll see the auto edit inline, which is parameter number 10. When this is set to yes, variables that are sent to the control limb agent are also defined in the shell that's being called. Um, in this case, the command prompt, if this were Unix um, and your shell was bash, you would actually see this, um, these variables being set. If this is set to no, these variables are not defined at runtime. This concludes the demo, and you can read more information about variables in the Control Limb Parameter Guide. Thank you for your time. The Workload Automation Support Team looks forward to helping you should you need our assistance.